What's up guys, it's Akili here and welcome to another one of my videos. If you're new to my channel and enjoy daily gaming entertainment, consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon for my future uploads. This video is titled Top 10 Gods on Gods of Olympus, basically because 9 just didn't sound right. So effectively, as you already know, we have a total of 9 gods. So in reverse order, I have ranked the gods from 9 to 1 based on what I feel is their effectiveness in the game. This may give people who haven't got all 9 gods an idea as to which ones to get first. So, coming in at number 9 is Zeus. Number 9. Now, a lot of people tend to complain about Zeus due to the fact that, other than his time slow ability, he doesn't bring much to the party and is sometimes sacrificed early by high level players to allow a more effective god to take his place. His lightning storm and his chain lightning are useful, but maybe not as good as they could be. So, that's why he's at the bottom of the list. So here he is on chapter 25 of the campaign showing his skills. Look at the way he smashes the building with his mighty fists and lightning storm. Watch his awesome slow time take effect as he casually destroys the Zeus temple and strolls across to the Ares temple just without a care in the world bashing away the second temple demolished He's loving his job. Don't get me wrong, guys. He is useful, but he could just do with a little bit extra. Just just a little tweak, just, just to make him a little bit better. So anyway, that's God number nine, Zeus. Number eight. In eighth place, I'm going to put Apollo. His heal ability is obviously useful. His flaming arrows are great for keeping back large numbers of troops, especially useful when your tank unit is being attacked. I've never really found a good use for his Sunstrike ability, although when I was at a lower level, I did see it used a little when accompanied by Artemis' Longshot. I do find that this technique doesn't really get used much at the higher levels due to the strength of the temples. They're just far too powerful to be taken out using this method. So here we have Apollo using his Sunstrike, which is at maximum level, and for me it doesn't really do much. More useful maybe for taking out Archer Towers and other small buildings. Here on the other hand is Apollo using his Flaming Arrows, which for me is much more useful. You can literally repel hundreds of troops with this, especially when you've got the tank unit in front of you. Just watch as he obliterates all those nasty little bug-like humans. Number 7 Number 7 is Artemis, but that in no way makes her undervalued as the top 7 gods are all pretty close in their usefulness, and she is one of my favourite gods also. Her Hawkstorm is a must at high levels to destroy masses of troops, especially when you're about to be overwhelmed. Her long shot, when powerful enough, can take out key towers and temples at the middle levels, and the weakened temples at high levels. She is one of my favourite gods, like I said, and I always use her spread shot. That is really awesome at destroying troops or buildings when you're attacking. Here she is, demonstrating her maxed out spread shot ability, wiping out houses and repelling troops with ease. If you're using the slow push method, she is the must-have god to help you in your attacks. Eat hawks, minions! But enough of that. Let's check out her long shot ability. So here she is demonstrating her long shot ability and as you can see when it's maxed out she's able to take a hell of a lot of health from the temple. Using the hawk storm keeps the troops at bay long enough for her to recharge her long shot and take the Athena temple out. Her hawk storm is at level 60 which is powerful enough to stop any troops from getting too close to her and allows her to take her next shot taking out the Athena temple. Go Artemis! You rock! Number 6 At number 6 is Aphrodite. She is another of my favourites and her all ability allows you to convert many buildings or troops rapidly. I use her from the start of my attacks and I find the charm building more useful as Aphrodite towers on high level opponents have such great range and strength that they will make charm units ineffective. Due to my slow push attack style and the targets I prioritise, the Aphrodite Tower is usually in play for a lot of the game, so charm building is what I use. 
So here is Aphrodite using her charm unit's ability, which is highly effective when the Aphrodite tower is not in play. As you can see, I also use the charm buildings and the all to keep her alive and give her invincibility for a short period of time. Using her all ability, it is sometimes possible for her to take a temple down on her own. As you can see here, she is able to charm enough troops to be able to take down the Athena temple. Number 5 God number 5 is Athena. Her summon hotplights ability is great, but as with Aphrodite's charm units, it's not advisable to use this at high levels unless the Aphrodite tower has been taken out. Otherwise it's really useful, but be mindful of Cyclops and Flame Towers when you use it. The Aegis Shield is fantastic and makes her by far the best tank unit in the game who can resist massive damage. Her Inspiration ability is also amazing and boosts the other gods around her, making gods like Ares unstoppable and able to do incredible damage over a short space of time. In this demonstration you can see that she's using her Aegis Shield with the Inspiration and there's literally hundreds of troops hanging off of her desperately trying to take her down but her defense is so strong she's holding them back for a while until she eventually gets taken out next to the athena temple if you're using her in attacks in this way and you've got the apollo god you can basically recharge her shield before she goes down extending her ability number four in at number four is hades Hades Reanimate is an amazing ability that is similar to Athena's summon hoplites, but his skeletons can't be converted by the Aphrodite Tower. This makes this ability incredibly useful for attacking structures and also keeping defending troops at bay. For me, he is probably the best supporting god in the game. His summon Cerberus is also a great ability and he can be used in different ways, either helping with the main attack, distracting troops and buildings, or dropping right next to a temple, it can destroy it solely by itself. Hades Ross ability is hardly used compared with Reanimate, but it can also be used effectively in some situations. If you ever attack a hero temple surrounded by heroes houses, then using Rot while attacking the temple can often remove the houses before the temple drops, thereby avoiding possible fatal damage to your gods. Here we see Hades die, but Cerberus is close enough to the temple to take it out by himself. What a good doggy. Number 3 God number 3 is Ares. Now Ares is a tank unit that deals massive damage. Some high level players use his bloodlust strength boost along with battle charge and Athena's inspiration to make him into a super god that can smash through temples like butter for a short while. I tend to use his bloodlust and whirlwind ability to take out troops and also act as a troop shield for a duration. Here we see a quick demo of Ares bloodlust along with his battle charge which allows him to take out the Zeus temple relatively easy and quickly with only a few hits. He's then able to stay alive long enough to also go to the Ares temple and obliterate that before he is eventually overpowered and dies. This takes us to our top two gods. Number two. At number two I have decided to put Poseidon. Poseidon is, I believe, the people's favourite at the moment, and it's not surprising why. His Kraken ability deals immense damage to many buildings on the map. His Water Cannon ability is incredibly powerful and gives him the strongest attack of all the gods. He can also use it to repel troops, in the same way as Apollo does with his Flaming Arrows ability. His Tidal Wave can wipe out a temple in one hit, making it stronger than Artemis' long shot. He is an amazing god that needs to be in everyone's roster. Here he is demonstrating his maxed out water cannon ability. He's able to take down the Zeus temple and the Ares temple in literally seconds. He then finishes off by going over to the Athena temple and after a little bit of a water blast he finishes it with his tidal wave. Absolutely amazing. Never mind that guys, look how much of the base is left after Kraken's finished with it. My god, there is hardly anything left of the base. He is truly unstoppable. Number one. And the number one god is Hera. Hera is for me the most unique god in the game, as she is the only god capable of recharging her health. 
If her absorb ability is used correctly with her wrath ability, a nearly dead hero can become fully charged in an instant. Her reflect ability is also massively useful, even more so when the Apollo Temple has been taken down, as the buildings being damaged by her can't heal themselves. Dropping her into the middle of a set of buildings and using her wrath can cause a massive wipeout, leaving few buildings still standing around her. That for me makes her the number one god. On this demonstration you can see that mixing her absorb and reflect abilities she is able to attack temples and keep troops off at the same time. Then when her health is low she recharges herself using the absorb and wrath ability. Is there a god better? I don't think so. Two temples down and she is still going strong. With full health she is really that good. If you are a beginner in this game make sure that Hera is one of your first gods. You won't be disappointed. I wouldn't be surprised if she takes down the whole base single handedly. She seems unstoppable. Watch as all the defenders desperately try to take her down, but she's having none of it. By the way guys, if you have any suggestions for future videos you'd like to see me do, leave it in the comment section below. Whether that be Gods of Olympus or if you have another game you'd like me to do a video on, I am always looking to entertain you. So there you have it, my top 10, uh, I mean top 9 gods on Gods of Olympus. Do you agree with my list? Let me know in the comment section below what you think are the best and worst gods or if you think I am right. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and click the Hades picture to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.